An untold story of the tooth fairy. Why do they collect so many teeth? Written and illustrated by Diane Albert. Hi there, I'm the tooth fairy, and it's time that I tell you what we do with all the teeth we collect. So, a long time ago in fairyland, we had a small problem. Our houses, adorable, yes, but they were wobbly like a bowl of jelly. That was not good. They barely made it through the last rainstorm. I knew it was up to me to find something else to build our houses with. So I tried pebbles, but they were too heavy. I tried mud, but it was too slippery. I tried feathers, but they made me float away. I kept looking, refusing to give up. And there in the grass, I saw something shimmering. It was a tooth. It was strong, but lightweight, simple, yet sparkly. It was perfect, exactly what I was looking for. These could be bricks for our houses. Then I remembered that children lose a lot of teeth in their childhood. We would definitely have enough material to rebuild Fairyland. We just needed to figure out how to collect all the teeth children lose. I had an idea. I gathered paper, scissors, and tape to make a box. But not an ordinary box. This is a special tooth collecting box. Next, I started writing out instructions and adding some decorations. When a tooth is lost, place in here. A fairy's visit is very near. While stars twinkle and you're fast asleep, a gift will be left for you to keep. Now we just needed to deliver these empty boxes to the children. So I gathered all the fairies and we went to work. To keep our identity a secret, we only traveled at night while the children were sleeping. If a tooth was placed in the box, we got an alert. And off we went to collect the tooth and leave a special gift. Word spread and after a week, we had enough teeth to start building. We worked day and night and got the nickname Tooth Fairy because of our tooth collecting skills. The houses were turning out better than we ever expected. We even built houses for the Binky Fairy, the Easter Fairy, the Halloween Fairy, and the Christmas Fairy. Over time, children got creative and started leaving their teeth under their pillow, in a bag hanging on their door, and even in a cool plastic case. We became experts at finding lost teeth. We even managed to find a shark tooth. We soon realized the cleanest teeth were the strongest for the houses. So we left a bigger surprise for those teeth. And that's how the tooth fairy tradition started. Fairyland became better than ever and kids learned to take good care of their teeth. Thanks to Sierra Grace from Toronto, Canada for this beautiful picture. You can watch How to Catch a Rainbow on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for your chance to win free books and Amazon gift cards in my monthly draws.